Sleeping and grooming. One could make the case that cats are able to do those things better than any living creature on the planet. Cats know how to take care of themselves, and maintaining their fur, regardless of length, ranks near the very top of the priority list. This is why the bald patches can be very concerning for you as an owner, because the very last thing that a healthy and happy cat would ever do is neglect that coat. With respect to bald spots and their origins, let's take a closer look. First off, it must be stated that not all bald patches will look the same. Some will be small, others large. The patch could be of a single nature, or there could be multiple. And patches, they can appear most anywhere on the body. Some will also be more pronounced than others. When it comes to the causes, let's begin with fleas. This is quite common. In most cases, cats with a major flea problem will exhibit balding on the lower portion of the back and the tail. The bald patches are the result of over-grooming in an effort to remedy the issue. In most cases, a vet visit and proper flea medication should resolve the issue in as quick or as early as 48 to 72 hours in some cases. Once the fleas are gone, your cat will stop itching and the fur will return. Moving on, it should be stated that overgrooming is not simply the byproduct of flea bites. Overgrooming can be caused by a host of issues, stress and anxiety being one of the most significant. To put this into perspective, overgrooming due to stress is the equivalent to some folks biting their nails during anxious times. In the case of your pet, standard grooming is taken one step further to the point where large chunks of fur are simply ripped out. This can be very concerning because until the root cause of your cat's stress is found and eliminated, overgrooming will unfortunately likely continue. Always be mindful of your cat's environment. Sometimes even the most subtle of changes can have a huge impact. Another reason for bald patches? Allergies. An allergic reaction, primarily due to food consumption or seasonal conditions, Allergies can cause your cat to scratch until the fur is removed. Additionally, in severe cases, an allergic reaction could cause fur to simply fall out without means of grooming. If you are concerned that your pet is suffering from allergies, please take your cat to the vet. The same negative food additives, pollen, mold, and mildew that can harm us can also harm your cat. Before I close things out for today's presentation, I'd like to note just two more potential causes of baldness, hyperthyroidism and ringworm. In the case of hyperthyroidism, the occurrence of bald patches can be a symptom of an overactive thyroid. With respect to ringworm, this fungal infection can cause localized fur loss in and around the primary infection location. It should also be noted that infected wounds caused by a physical altercation, perhaps, reactions to medications, and hereditary conditions can also be responsible for fur loss in felines. With all of that said, I'll now turn this topic over to you. Any thoughts regarding today's subject? Any personal stories to share involving your very own cat? If your feline has had or currently has bald patches, leave a message in the comments section below. What you have to offer could potentially help other owners. Community involvement is very important, as we are all in it for the greater good of our pets. And until next time, I do thank you so much for taking some time to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we will talk to you later.